Howdy folks, I'm Brian, I'm and here's some Reddit, although this is the second time I've recorded this because apparently last time there wasn't sound. Our first letter is titled, Am I a jerk for getting a guy kicked out of the gym? And there is a content warning on this one, it does involve kind of stalkery behavior and uh, harassment. So let's get started. So I'm a 19 year old female and I'm home for the summer from university where I normally use the gym. And since I'm 19, I joined Planet Fitness and they have a free plan for 14 to 19 year olds. I would normally go from 9.30 until 11 and work out learning about the various machines and meeting new people. The problem arose when I noticed this guy, mid 40ish, he's a male, was always near me when I was working out and often watching me. If I was on one machine, he would be directly across from me. When I moved to another machine, he moved down. I thought it was a coincidence, so I let it go, even though it really creeped me out. Until one day, I moved all the way across the gym to another machine, and he followed me. Five minutes passed, and I realized that I forgot my water bottle, so I wiped down my machine and head back, and decided to work out on a different machine altogether. A minute later, he's there next to me again, just one machine away. I don't want to cause a scene, so I just changed what time I go to the gym. He normally left right before or after me, so I assumed that he had the same kind of gym schedule. I started working out from 6 to 7.30, and I got a week of peace. Then, he was there again, every single day. He continued following me around, so I went and told the person at the front desk and they are watching the guy for a few days, then they kicked him out and told him that he wasn't welcome back. When I left, he was waiting outside and he yelled at me that it's my fault for getting him kicked out and that I have to go back inside and explain that it was all just one big misunderstanding, a mistake. He told me that Planet Fitness was the only gym that he could afford, and so now he wasn't able to work out. Poor, poor man. I got in the car and I started crying and I called my sister because I wanted to calm down before driving anywhere. I explained and she told me that the guy was right and that I should have helped him because everybody deserves a chance to work out and maybe he was just crushing on me and didn't know how to show it. She also said that I should give him the chance to apologize and tell the Planet Fitness people that he should be able to come back. I also told my friends and they said that I was being a jerk because he could just have had the same workout schedule as me and use similar machines that I do because we're working on the same muscles. Could I have been wrong or hasty in getting him kicked out? Should I have let it go? Am I the jerk that he can't work out anymore? All right, folks, what do you think, jerk or not the jerk? Not the jerk. All right, OP, he can continue to work out. He just can't work out of this gym anymore. And it's really important that the other patrons be safe and that you're safe. And this, this kind of stalkery behavior can devolve very quickly. And you don't know when somebody could become dangerous. You don't know when they could start acting in a irrational way. And it's really important to be safe because, like, you don't know if this, like, he's watching you closely enough that he managed to figure out your schedule, right? He knows when you changed. He knows what time you changed to. And that's scary, right? Like, this is, he's not just coincidental at that point in time. It's just as coincidental as him moving from machine to machine to watch you, right? He's acting like a creeper. He's acting like a jerk. He needs to be kicked out of the gym. And the, the thing is that Planet Fitness needs to be able to protect its patrons and it needs to make sure that people aren't going to be hurt by other people and stalked by them. And so this is why they kicked him out of the gym because what he was doing was completely inappropriate. So yeah, you're not the jerk. Anyhow, take care and good luck. Uh, no, your sister and friends are wrong. That's creepy. And you should never feel uncomfortable for working out and you did the right thing. He's mad because his actions got him kicked out and he's taking it out on you. He's a stalker and a creep. Be safe, not the jerk. Seriously, what kind of sister do you have? He's crushing hard? For real? He's 40! And he was stalking you to the point where he figured out your new schedule. He's probably gotten kicked out of all the other gyms for similar behavior. Yuck. Get new friends if this is their advice because this is way creepy. You're young so you don't have the confidence to understand that this is completely not okay. Always listen to your intuition in cases like this. Being wrong is better than being assaulted every single time. Not the jerk. Alright folks, it is tea time. 
Grab your beverages of choice. I'm sorry this episode is so short today. Amber has water and I had a tea earlier. I'll let you guess what the tea that I had earlier is. And in the meantime, I'm going to tell you a joke. And I came up with this joke all by myself. I was very proud of it. Why did the barnacle cross the road? Do you need help? I need help again. I don't remember my own punchline. Because <laughs> it was on the clam. <laughs> I can't remember my own punchlines. Apparently, apparently I'm losing my mind, folks. <laughs> Thank you, Amber, for the assistance. I was like, so like, oh, I got this joke. Because the thing is like, the story is earlier. I forgot the punchline. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to be reminded by Amber. Yeah. And now I forgot my own punchline again. But it makes it funny because at least it's a funny joke to me. <laughs> and I had Mega Mint earlier. All right, folks, that's all the time we have for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, consider giving me a like. And if you didn't, consider giving me a dislike. Happy Friday, Junior. I hope you're all having a great week and it's running down nicely for you or starting up nicely for you, depending on where you are in that work cycle. So anyhow, take care and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.